Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. It's um, early May right now, so it's the off-season in college football, but we're still maintaining our coverage here at SBR. We're going to talk right now to uh, Steve from collegefootballwinning.com, who some of you might remember from our uh, weekly college football previews that we did last year. Steve, how you doing? I'm okay, Peter. How you doing? I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We're just going to talk to you a little bit about two college football team scrimmages for USC and Oregon. Before we get started, let's just give you a little bit. Of, let's just give you a little bit of kudos right now for your uh, record with us, for your record as a picker. Because you know, why do we have you on this show? Yes, you're very photogenic. You're very well spoken and everything. But when it comes down to it, you give freaking awesome picks, as far as I can see. Uh, in your in your record just with us this past year, with the games that you suggested that you wanted to talk about because you felt you had a nice opinion on them, you were 23. 3, 11, and 1 overall. Thank you. Yes, yeah, you were. True. And then we, we covered every bowl game in, um, in during bowl season, and you covered 14 bowls with us, and your record in those bowl games was 10, 3, and 1. That's all against the spread, Steve. Yes, I, I am pleased with those results. Thank you, and thank you for bringing them up. All right, let's move on to the, uh, to the two scrimmages that you uh, recently looked at, Oregon and USC. Steve, you visited both of those scrimmages. What was that like? They were two very different scrimmages. Mm. Uh, at USC, they were so afraid of injuries that there was no tackling whatsoever in that scrimmage. Mm. Whereas uh, you saw a lot of first teamers versus second teamers, which that part is fairly standard for a spring scrimmage game. But then up at Oregon, you saw a, a really cool type of scrimmage game where it was, uh, it, for the first half at least, was pretty much a full regular game mm. format except the exception of the quarterbacks wearing red jerseys, the quarterbacks were just tackled by a hand. It was one hand touch for those guys. Mm. Other than that, everyone else was it was full contact. The first half looked very much like a regular football game. That's weird. But, when I first hear that, I think like, whoa, maybe USC is playing scared. And I love to bet against teams, especially in football, that are like, you know, playing scared or gingerly. I mean, do you think that maybe uh, they're going to come out a little soft in the beginning of the year and uh, and be a be a good bet against ATS? My fear with USC is they did this in 2010 where they mm -hmm. did not want to tackle and right. practice. Right. They're so afraid of injuries. And then in the 2010 season, it was obvious that right. they were not tackling. Yeah. They were not tackling anybody in their game. So the old adage, you practice the way you play, sure. if you're sure. not going to tackle during practice, USC can prove to you from 2010, you're probably not going to tackle in the actual games either. But that said... I have to tell you that what I did see was a much improved defense at mm. USC. And mm. they have, since Lane Kiffin's first year and bringing in his father as the defensive coordinator, uh, Monty Kiffin, uh, or actually I should say he's in charge of the defense, Monty Kiffin really struggled making that transition from the NFL to the NCAA that first year. The second year, there was a definite improvement. This third year coming up, USC hired a secondary coach. They were without a secondary coach this past year. Secondary is so deep, so talented, mm. yet they sort of underperformed last year. Uh, th they were 45th against FBS competition in passing defense. This year, I think they're going to take a huge step up, mm. just a huge step up. Maybe look for like a run of unders with USC, either in the beginning of the year or towards the middle. I'm still really reluctant to endorse that right now. USC's offense, everyone does expect to be really high-powered ah, okay. with passing game in particular. Mm. So it sounds like you're pretty high on USC then. I mean, you're saying their offense is going to be high-powered, their defense is like looking very, very strong. So you're thinking maybe USC is going to have an up year this year. The USC should have an up year with uh, a couple of conditions there. Matt Barkley has to stay healthy. Right. And, and everyone says they are just one injury away to Matt Barkley from having a, a pretty bad season. Right. That said, they also are they're thin at running back. That's going to be a concern, although they have two guys right up front who are looking really impressive. But defensive tackle was my biggest concern with USC, hmm. their interior hmm. defensive line. Hmm. Super hmm. thin and really inexperienced. Hmm. All right, and then uh, give us your thoughts on Oregon. You think these guys are going to have an explosive offense again this year and just have uh, huge covers and wins? Uh, honestly, watching Oregon, they have no problem getting speed up to Eugene. Yeah. And Chip Kelly is so good at teaching young, experienced, old, doesn't matter who. He's so good at teaching anyone his offense, teaching it effectively and teaching it very quickly. So I, I have absolutely no worries about Oregon scoring points. 
I have no worries about that quarterback controversy, although Marcus Mariota looked so good in that scrimmage game. Super lightning fast. Lightning fast. Faster than the last three quarterbacks we've seen at Oregon. But Oregon's concerns are as many points as Oregon scores. History tells us in the BCS era, you just have to have a top t- you have to have a top scoring defense. Auburn is the lone exception to that, and Auburn is an SEC team. So that's almost like a different creature altogether. Oregon has got to be concerned. Their back seven looks very good. Uh, I know that their their front four looks like they're going to be pretty solid too. But even with that solid group, they looked pretty solid last year. They still did not approach uh, a top 10. They weren't even a top 30, not even a top 35 scoring defense last year. So they, they really have got to improve on that. And that's the biggest question mark is with all the offense, with all the speed that Oregon has, can they muster a top 10 scoring defense? If they can, they've got USC in Los Angeles. They've got to win that game. If they don't win that game, they don't go undefeated. They don't go to a BCS national, national championship game. All right. Well, this was great insight, Steve. And um, I will uh, hopefully talk to you again in August. And we'll, uh, we'll have a much more immediate preview of college football then. Thank you, Peter. I really look forward to it. All right. Great. Thanks so much. Talk to you later.